Oh, it's a day of celebration! Insert balloons here and whatnot. Let's party! Oh. <laughs> there's a window right there. Ah, oh, there's a car! Baka! Welcome back to Manga Tuesday, episode 133. It's been a long week since last Tuesday's episode. I am DRC, but you can call me Mr. DRC. And today, we will be celebrating Piccolo Day. What are the chances that Piccolo Day, May 9th, would fall on a Manga Tuesday? It's a... Piccolo Day Miracle. It's a Festivus Miracle. Um, so happy, happy Piccolo Day. I don't really know what else to say. But happy Piccolo Day. <laughs> what an episode. What a moment. But this is just, we're just here to party together and celebrate together. Here's a fun fact. Did you know? In the English dub, I believe, Piccolo Day is actually May 13th. Because, um, you know, 13 is an unlucky number in uh, the Western world for whatever reasons. But in Japan, I guess nine is some sort of unlucky number. There might be something else about May 9th in particular too, but I don't remember or care. But it's May 9th today! Maybe just. This episode might be coming out late. So it might already be May 10th. But um, happy Piccolo Day to you and all your friends. I really like... The Demon King Piccolo. Look at this cool figurine of um, King Piccolo I have. It's a really, really nice figurine. It really captures his uh, youthful essence. This is after he restores his youth. And it's a really quite sizable and uh, nice. Uh, there's a back view for you. Uh, there's his bald head. When... He gets his youth in the in the anime when he when he gets the Dragon Balls and he wishes for his youth to be restored. That, I can't remember exactly how he words it. I was like freaking out, like "Boah!" He was so strong before. He's gonna be unbeatable now. How are they gonna beat him? And then the craziest one of my favorite, one of my favorite moments in all of Dragon Ball after we, after the Shenron completes his wish and he's like, "Hey, Dragon, one more thing." Boah! And fucking kills the eternal dragon, Shenron. He's supposed to be unkillable. And he just destroys him. And it's like, Woo! They got rid of the dragon. He just... The, the dragon balls are gone. The dragon's dead. What the fuck, bro? That was pretty cool. It was pretty uh, shocking. And the end to the big battle is also pretty cool. Where Goku flies up. Fist through. I don't think he actually flies. Does he like blast a, a Kamehameha wave with one hand? Because I think Goku still couldn't fly yet. To launch himself up and punches a hole right through his chest. Now leading up to the final battle, I was kind of hoping Goku wouldn't be the one to say that. I was actually hoping they would go sort of a bit of a swerve and have Tien with the, 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 the capturing technique that he learned from Roshi. I can't remember the name of it. But I was hoping Tien would capture him in a in the thing. I thought that would be a a good twist instead of just having Goku save the day again. But uh but the, in the end the ending was pretty cool. Um quite frankly I, I've always the uh, I like the uh, original OG Piccolo actually a lot better than the the modern day the the Piccolo that came up. Piccolo Jr. I like the... I, I like Piccolo Senior. What I'm trying to say is I'm not good at speaking or saying things or being funny or creative, really. But what I'm trying to say is I like Piccolo Senior a lot better than Piccolo Jr. I don't really care for him. I don't have any Piccolo Jr. figures. But I do have this really cool Goku figure from that. From that final fight, it's hard to get the right angle on it with the camera. You need to sort of be looking at it from above. 
him. Ah, it's pretty. Um, it's pretty cool. I should just end this episode. I don't really have anything to say. Um, share your favorite Piccolo moment with me on um, Piccolo.com. Uh, happy Piccolo Day to you. If I was more prepared for this episode, I would have bought a Piccolo. That could have been a thing I did. I, I, I could have I could have talked about it and tried to play it. A Piccolo. Actually, even better, I could have bought an Oboe and just called it a Piccolo. That, that could have been a funny bit. Don't you think, guys? This is just missed opportunities. Maybe next time a Piccolo Day falls on a Tuesday, I'll be more prepared. Uh, in fact, the only reason I'm doing this as a Manga Tuesday is because I've been meaning to do a review of Itchy the Killer for like the last month. But every time the days roll around, I'm like, ugh, I, f uh, oh, I can't fucking be bothered. So I just like, ah, uh, we'll just put it off a week. Now months gone by and now the award show should have already happened. So maybe we'll do an award. Should we just skip the award show altogether? Maybe we can do it next week. Uh, what the, I need I need your suggestions in the comments below. What particularly what should be nominated for best Manga Tuesday and what should be nominated for worst Manga Tuesday? I can work out the rest myself. Maybe voting will open midweek and we'll get an award show next week, so we can put off the itchy review even further. Um, itchy and scratchy review. We should do that. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Aye. Oh. <laughs> Physical pain's funny, isn't it? Mm. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. I can't get a good proper swing. Is that, I can't tell if that's enough, is it, does it look painful enough? Oh! Does it look painful enough or does it look pussy, like pussy swings? I just need to do one big swing. Sometimes I'm such a silly goose. Fuck it, let's just keep this episode short. As it, is it short? It's probably... Bordering on long territory already. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go wrong. So, thanks for watching, and as always, Martin Morning. It's just another Tuesday. 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 And if you're in for a spell, where